Thanks for reading through the article. What I'll show you now is a quick tour through the tool using an example so you can see it in use. Now first off, once you log into your account, just go to the Opportunities tab and there you'll find under Tools the Keyword Tool. Now if you access the Keyword Tool externally without logging in, you're not going to get as much information so it is best to log into your account if you've got one first. So you can enter words or phrases or websites or both and for this example I'm going to enter strollerdepot.com and just click search. What Google will then bring up is all the keyword ideas, the competition, the global monthly searches and local monthly searches and that's the default view. What we want to see is all the information that's actually of use to us so we go into views and customize the columns and you can click all columns because you may still want to use these what I tend to do though is drag those columns to the bottom because they're not as important as some of these other fields that I want to see and then once you've reordered them how you want just make sure you click on save and it will confirm that that's saved and it will then reorder all your fields and add the different fields that you've selected. And now we're looking at all the keyword ideas with an estimated average cost per click, ad share, search share which isn't populated at the moment and which web page those particular keywords were extracted from. So what I'm going to do, I really do want to see ad share and search share. So what we need to do is go over and down the bottom of the page you'll see or almost to the bottom you'll see match types and you must have exact match on for add and search share to appear but it's also good to have phrase match on because then you can see how the different variations of keyword where they're drawn from what the cost per click is so it's always good to have all of those enabled and then we can go back to the keywords and we can now see what the ad share and search shares are. So I'll, I'll sort by search share. You can click on any of these headings to sort by that. What this is telling us is that Strollers for Twins Exact Match comes up on the first page of Google.com almost 85% of the time, which is very good. What we see here is an opportunity for ad share and for pay per click. This exact phrase is not appearing or we don't have an ad that's appearing on the first page of Google for this exact phrase. So the 0% in ad share tells me that we've got plenty of opportunity there for a pay-per-click campaign. If these were reversed, then I would know that, well, the pay-per-click campaign's going well, but really for better quality score and for more traffic through my search or through my website organically, I should work on my SEO to include this particular search term. So what you're aiming for really is to have a high ad share for your pay-per-click and a high search share for your SEO. And what this page will also tell you is extracted from web page gives you the best web page from your site or another site in that, for that matter for these particular keywords. So if I were to use Baby Bjorn products I know here that actually this is the best landing page to use for this. Now also if I saw a particular keyword and it was going to another product page here I'd know that there was a problem with my site and I might need to optimize my site a bit better to make sure that the right page is showing for particular keywords. If this field was blank then you actually don't have a page on that site that's suited for that or that Google recognizes for that search term and it may be well worth your while for you to add one. Now moving over to the left hand side of the screen you'll also see a list of categories and these are all the categories that Google has pulled these particular keyword ideas from. So you'll see a few categories in blue and the rest which are irrelevant are greyed out and this can also be useful if you're doing placement campaigns to know what particular categories Google has to offer and where it recognizes your keywords so you can also if you find that there's a particular category which is irrelevant maybe you look at food and, and you're not doing anything to do with food then you can turn off particular categories as well and just include the categories that you're after 
Further down, you'll also see the contains field. And what we see here is all the, all the baby terms that are included in the search terms. And you can sort that alphabetically or by the highest count. Usually the highest count is probably going to be more useful to you when you're creating your pay-per-click campaign. We'll just go back up the screen again. And where you entered your website, another useful tool is the advanced options. And this is where you can geo-target your research. So I could say I want all countries, you can pick your languages. If you're looking at mobile advertising, then you can tick the mobile search one. Show results for all keyword ideas or ideas containing my search terms. Well, all keyword ideas is going to bring back everything that Google can throw at you. Ideas containing my search terms will only be ones where you've entered in a word or phrase and you just want more ideas based on those search terms. So if you've already got a good bundle of keywords that's working well for you, you can enter those keywords in and Google will spit out more keywords that contain those particular search terms. So that will limit your search results to just those search terms. Also on the filter keywords, any of those columns that we've added, you can sort by. So if you want to see OK, I want ad share, which is greater than or equal to, actually, well, let's try less than 50%. Then you could do the search based on that. And then, you know, these are ones, these are keywords where there's opportunity for you to increase your ad share. Similarly, you could change your search share. And these are the keywords that you know you might need to optimize better for. If you're looking for lower competition keywords, then you can select competition and you can choose low, medium or high. And you can also use the average CPC to enter an amount and perhaps find the lower price keywords. Although just remember this estimate is just an es estimate. It can be lower or higher than what Google decides. It's based more on quality scores. So the higher your quality score, the less you'll pay per click. And the lower quality score you have, the more you're going to pay per click, probably for a lower ad ranking as well. So although the tool will give you an estimated CPC, that will always vary between advertisers, depending on your history and your quality score, how you've set up your account, etc. So when you're doing your research, just make sure you do take advantage of the advanced options and set it to your particular country or worldwide if you're marketing globally and just target these settings so that you get the best results for what you're looking for. But this particular tool is handy for both PPC and SEO and pretty much any keyword based marketing where you need to find the best keywords for your site and also compare that back to your site and which web pages apply. Below now in the keyword ideas, you'll see the results have changed slightly because of the different targeting that I've entered into advanced options above. So whether you're starting your campaign from scratch or whether you're adding new keywords, just make sure that you incorporate this method into your keyword research because you'll find plenty of information here that's not actually included in other or that you won't find out anywhere else. Thanks for watching.